fantastic. Right, moving on. Question number five comes in from uh, Paul. Hi there, Paul. Thank you for your question, and thank you for being part of the amazing Wigwam community. Uh, so Paul says, do you honestly think software and AI, uh, artificial intelligence, I presume, are going to solve all the current problems in the property world, particularly around the lengthy legal process to buy a home and all the issues of deals falling through? Okay, well, Paul, thank you for your question. Nice and short and sweet. And hopefully I can uh, sort of get my teeth into this one. Um, I, look, I understand where you're coming from. One of the things is uh, that I've seen at the moment with um, particularly a lot of these online gurus is the real promotion of AI as a solution to practically everything, right? And in fact, I saw a funny uh, meme on a, on a friend's uh, timeline today, and it said uh, the fastest things in the world. And the first was a cheetah, the second was a, a car, the third was an aeroplane, and the fourth was the number of experts in AI, right? Now, obviously, anybody who's played with AI will understand the uh, power and the potential of what it actually uh, can can produce. You know, it, it's, a, it's a really incredible tool. And, and in fact, a friend of mine and I were talking about this last week, and we said, you know, that one of the things that we find it really useful for is content creation, because the, you know, the blank page when you're staring there trying to create content is the devil, really, because it's really hard to map your thoughts out on paper, and then you do the first draft, and it's really not that good, and then you do the second draft and the third, you know, so so people look at these blogs on our website at wigum.co.uk, and they they look at them and think, well, you know, these um these blogs. Uh, you know, they, they take five, 10, 15 minutes to read, but it could take you three hours to put it together, you know. But anyway, that, that aside, the AI will produce a pretty good first draft. Uh, but the, what I've noticed with a lot of AI is it's very logical. It, it doesn't provide the uh, connection as far as being a human being is concerned. And it misses these sort of emotive uh, languages that uh, sometimes humans will use in terms of expressing their feelings and emotions. Okay, so to answer your question, diving in to the issues around the uh, current lengthy transaction process of, of buying and selling a property, there are major issues there that need to be solved by the people that are doing the transaction, which is primarily the estate agent and the solicitor, right? And I think estate agents have been good as far as embracing a number of technologies that have helped them to market a property effectively, i.e. portals. They've embraced CRM technology to allow them to track uh, applicants' details and to market to a wider audience, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the issue I think that's coming through at the moment from what I'm seeing with a lot of estate agents is the number of technological solutions that are coming forward, shall we say, are a replication of the old shall we say, paper-based way of doing things. And that causes an issue because if you're going to create software, for example, surely the whole idea of creating that is to build in efficiency into the process, right? So you built this bit of software. It doesn't just replicate the old system with all of the problems that are inherent in the existing process. You actually create a system that wipes out those problems altogether, which is what we've done with WiggyWam and the shall we say, the secret keys to the entire WiggyWam way that an estate agent and solicitor can plug into to fast-track deals, right? And the, the the issue is it sometimes requires a different way of thinking. So if you've de designed a piece of software which is a, a better way of doing things, sometimes that requires retraining the uh, audience that you're marketing to, i.e. estate agents or solicitors. And sometimes... You know, what I've realized with, with humans uh, is that we're very good at learning how to do something and then being okay with replicating that task uh, many, many times. And as long as it doesn't vary too much from the original, we're okay with that. The moment somebody throws a spanner in the works and says, actually, um, you're going to do this very differently now. You're actually going to have to relearn the entire process about how to do things and you're going to apply it in a different way. That tends to be quite off-putting and quite confronting, okay? And it actually isn't all that uh, different. It's just putting the component parts in in a slightly different order, but the result is profound. Okay, and that's where you start to look at the smart agents who are embracing that and going, "Yeah, actually, this WiggyWam thing is a really good thing because it allows me to fast track my transactions through to completion through collaboration, through working side by side with estate agents and solicitors 
can we actually see greater transparency in the transaction, greater transparency in the deal? We can use the workspaces that are built in there to actually understand where the deal is, what's been done, which is really important to keep your buyers and sellers' minds at rest, right? And also what's left to do. And that, again, is really important to put your buyers' minds at rest and your sellers' minds at rest, but also the educational videos so that the client automatically understands what is next in the process, what is what is required from them, and so that you guys don't have to spend hours on the phone educating your clients as to what's required. You just refer them to the videos and you refer them to the workspaces. Well, you invite them to the workspaces, should I say. And that will educate them and coach them, if you like, through the deal. Now, that's that to me is a pretty profound way of doing things. We're not going to replace the human element of being an estate agent or being a solicitor. And I think there's definitely some solicitors out there that I'm seeing right now that have got a reasonable following that are um, preaching AI as kind of like the holy grail. And they they hope that they invent that, that solution, the AI conveyancing solution, if you like, because ultimately they can see that as a big grab for winning a lot of business. And I think it might have a place for doing the you know mundane day-to-day tasks on a on a on a file, but I don't think it's ever going to replace, uh, uh, and it shouldn't, in my humble opinion, it should not replace a an experienced professional conveyancing solicitor. Okay, absolutely not. But what it what needs to happen is that efficiency between estate agents and solicitors needs to become much greater. And it needs to happen from a point of view of solicitors embrace that that bit of technology in a, in a slightly different way of working, but that will give them multiplied more results in terms of earning more money at the end of the day. Because why are we in business? Well, it's ultimately to earn a, earn a living, right? So I think, you know, software and AI have a have a place in in our lives. There's no two ways about it. You know, 20 years ago, I don't think we'd even heard of an iPhone, right? In fact, I actually met up with a friend of mine um, yesterday from school. We haven't seen each other in like 26 years, right? So we were just reminiscing about how much the world has changed over the course of that 26 years um, and how, you know, we didn't even have mobile phones at that, at that point in our lives. So, you know, technology has come along and most of us are reasonably familiar with using a computer now or using a smartphone of some description. Um, t- software and technology isn't going to go away, but it's how it's used to become more efficient, more profitable and how it's going to help our business in the best possible way that ultimately assists our clients. And that's what we're trying to do through WiggyWam is ultimately help estate agents and lawyers deliver excellence to the buyer and seller who are the one paying everybody's wages in this entire process, right? So I think it's it's important to not shy away from these things. I think it's really important to be open and honest and explore uh, technology. If you're if you're a, a solicitor or a uh, an estate agent or letting agent who is in the property industry and you're thinking about you know what is this whole WiggyWam thing, you know get in contact with us. Shoot us an email. Happy to help at WiggyWam.co.uk and let's book a demo and let's go through things so that we can explain to you in a no sales environment way, but just exactly show you how the technology will work that will allow you to deliver excellence to you, to your clients and also cut your admin by about 20%. I mean, I don't know an estate agent or a solicitor on the planet who doesn't want to cut their admin by at least 20%. Okay, it's it's like the holy grail. Imagine having another two hours a day to do work because you're not having to spend endless hours on the phone dealing with this sort of stuff. I mean, what imagine what you could do with another two hours a day in your work day to go out there and actually start prospecting for more business or, you know, actually taking some time out or actually having a little bit more time to focus on the job in hand rather than, you know, having all these constant pressures thinking, God, if I don't do this, you know, so-and-so is going to sack me or we're going to lose out on this, this opportunity. All of that goes away when you buy yourself another two hours a day, that's 10 hours a week, right? That's a, that's a, a, almost a complete working day a week. So that's what we're trying to do as far as we're concerned. I mean, I can't speak for all the other platforms. I can't speak for all the other technology and software that's being developed out there right now. But I do think there's opportunity um, for agents and solicitors to embrace it and use that uh, efficiently to speed up the housing market as a whole. All right, so I hope that answers the question, Paul. Thanks for uh, bearing with me whilst I went into our explanation there. But I think, yeah, there's some real value in what I've just said. And uh, if we can do anything else to support you on your journey there, Paul, shoot me an email. Happy to help at wiggywam.co.uk.
So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that brings us towards the end of today's webinar. Thank you so much indeed for joining me as always. Uh, if you want to send us in a question for a future webinar, please do so via email. Uh, email address is happy to help at wiggyram.co.uk. That's happy to help at wiggyram.co.uk. You can also go to our website, which is www.wiggywam.co.uk. That's wiggywam.co.uk. Uh, you can access a whole suite of resources there. We've got blogs, we've got forums, we've got um, broadcast videos, training videos, all sorts of things within the website there. Uh, feel free to indulge. You can also find us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at uh, wiggywam underscore UK. That's at wiggywam underscore UK. You can shoot us your questions via Twitter also. We'll be here the same time, same place next week, uh, doing week number 29 of our Wigwam Get Your Property Questions Answers webinar. Uh, it's a super privilege to be able to offer this to you and help and support you in your property journey. If there's anything else that we can do, please do let me know. Uh, but for now, I'll say goodbye and good luck and God bless. Thanks ever so much indeed, guys. You take care. Bye-bye.